from all the pieces that I've heard from my mom, um, you know, it was, it, it took a while. It was a lot of, um, you know, you go by foot and we hid in like, like uh, I think a truck with rice barrels and then ran through, there was a part of the jungle that we were, they ran through at night and um, you know, with gunshots firing and my mom actually held me upside down. I was a month old <laughs> and they said that, you know, my mom said that there were these ditches that, the soldiers, I think the Thai soldiers dug up right before you get to the refugee camp. And she actually fell in them, but she's like 90 pounds, you know, from starving for all those years. And my dad had my brother on his back. And then my, my mom was holding me upside down and covering my mouth. So I, you know, wouldn't cry. And, um, and my mom fell in the ditch and she said they just ran so quickly that my dad just grabbed her by the arm and just, you know, pulled her out and just went right for the barbed wire fence, which I think the refugees, on the Cambodians on the other side would snip the fence to have an opening for them to run through. And that was how we got into the camp. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty, uh, you know, and then I was actually pronounced dead at the time because I wasn't breathing, but you know, um, the, you know, I still remember my mom remembers a doctor at refugee camp from Oregon. I think he was from Oregon who kept trying and trying and he resuscitated me and, and, you know, and my parents, uh, my dad told me that at that moment, you know, like everything that he felt that he was running for was kind of like, oh no, but then thankfully it worked out. So I'm here and, you know, I have this amazing story to tell. And my mom has a, um, she had a pair of elephant ivory tusk. And she said, I gave it to that doctor because, you know, she was just so grateful that they had saved their daughter, you know, that he had saved my life. So, yeah.